goes again. What is this, like the seventh woman he's tried to hit on now this week? Does he even realize how much of his reputation he's ruining with this kind of behavior? Wait. He did not just corner her. This dude really just put his hands on her? All right, that's it. Hey, I've been looking for you. You ready for the podcast interview? Come on, let's go. Everybody's waiting. Awesome. She's playing along with it. Whoa, cuz, what's all that for, man? Hey, I'd love to mind my own business, but right now you're impeding my podcast guest for an interview. So that is kind of my business at the very least. Perfect. He let her go. Now he's focused on me. Run! Now's your chance! Go! <sighs> Looks like he's too hot-headed. He won't give up without a fight. Here we go! Listen to me, cuz. I am only gonna say this once. I do not give two rats eating you alive what your status is at this university. You ever put your hands on anyone in the wrong way again, you are done. You understand me? Get your degenerate keister out of my sight! <laughs> Well, that could have gone better, but it is what it is. Wait, you're still here? Told you to run. Well, whatever. Anyways. Hey, look, I'm sure you got about a bazillion questions you want to ask me, but I'll explain all that later. Right now, we need to get to security and file a report before he and his friends get there. Let's go. Alright, looks like we're in the clear. And according to reports from the Dean, he's gonna be expelled, thanks to the video footage. I'm sure you got a bazillion questions, so the floor's all yours. I stepped in as a good Samaritan. I hate when people do stuff like that. It makes the rest of his genuine folk look bad, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, security. Well, I helped the security director subdue a rogue student before, so now I'm kind of a recognized volunteer for security. Though I'd rather not get into fights where possible. Hey, it's no problem. I'm just glad I was there to help. I do have a question, though. Did that guy say what the reason was for picking you to mess with? Hmm... Since the two of you were at the top of the sports set, he figured it was a no-brainer for the two of you to get together, huh? Well, as he found out, that's not always the case. Even in a high status, if a person has a weak foundation and they put too much on it, the end thereof is catastrophe. And apparently he didn't have much foundation for his discipline. Hey, what's wrong? You're looking a little troubled there. I see. So his support turned out to be excessively exaggerated, and then it turned into this. Yeah, I can understand. I deal with the same thing as the game time announcer for the home games. Like, folks, that's great that you like what I do, but you don't have to be all exaggerative about it. Yeah, plus sometimes they get a little pushy with some of the other fans, and I'm just like, look, relax, chill out. Why do people exaggerate like that about us? You know, that's a great question, but it can be for a number of reasons. But the most common is obsession, and another, in a way, for lack of a better term, they're kind of weeabooing in this particular subject, if you will. But what that guy did to you back there, that was way over the line. 
I was actually shocked he went that far. Oh, he was actually trying to get with you for a while now? Well, he blew all opportunities of that now. Plus, apparently he was here on a scholarship, so that's probably gone now. And his reputation straight out the window. Hmm? Yeah, I'm in that class. I usually stay by the window, and I don't really talk much. Wait, hold up, hold up. Check it out over there. That's the football team, and they do not look happy. Hey, how about you head out? I'll... You sure you want to stay? Because it could get ugly. All right. I'll stand as backup. I figured they'd be here to talk to me. What can I do for you, gentlemen? You want to fight me for getting your friend in trouble? Is that what you were told that happened? Gentlemen, it is very unfortunate what happened, but engaging in an act of kidnapping and assault is not something that can just be overlooked. Plus, I'm not going anywhere with you. Ten guys on one is nowhere near a fair fight. And the bottom line, your reason to fight is not about anything noble. But solely for unjustifiable retaliation, basically revenge, and to feed your own egos. It's not worth it, guys. Wait, what is she doing? Why is she standing in front? Wait, she's calling for them to stand down. They must also be fans of her. Look, guys, this is getting out of hand. Think about this. Just hear me out right quick. We are in the middle of the school fountain area. Surplus witnesses, cameras everywhere, and they're all being recorded on a DVR and archived on a cloud. Ask yourselves, is your friend really worth the sacrifice of your futures? If you all go through with this, the entire team could end up suspended from college football participations. Think, guys, are those consequences really worth this fight? If there's anyone who showed lack of care for the team, it was him. Harming me is not going to bring him back. We are not kids anymore. We're talking about jail and the penitentiary. So ask yourselves, is this fight really worth you giving up everything, everything that you work so hard for? Is making the same mistake as he did really the way to go about this? Come on, guys. Think about this. Think about this. I understand he was the best player, but now you need to train yourselves to fill his shoes. If you are relying on him to carry you through, then this is a good time to learn an important lesson. You never stop growing. You never stop improving. You always continue to advance yourselves to be better. Even she continues to learn and improve. Do not let your emotions determine your actions. That's the same mistake many other folks make. We don't have to make the same mistakes. Wow, they're really asking her why she's hanging around me. We barely even know each other, but of course they don't really know that. Wait, did she just call me her bodyguard? Looks like they're calling it quits. Thank goodness. What? Did they really just call her that? Just because she didn't side with them? Unbelievable. Hey, let it go. I know, I know. It's wrong what they said, but trust me, let them have the last word on this one. We've already won the battle, okay? We've already won. We've already won. Hey, it's no problem. I'm glad I was here to help. Though I have a question. That whole statement about me being your bodyguard. <laughs> I figured that's what it was. Well, we should probably get out of here. Quite the eventful day.
Oh, me? I'm gonna go get some food and then I'll head home. You good? Sure, you can join. I don't mind. Are uh, you still feeling uneasy about everything? I see. Alright, I'll be your bodyguard. But I also want to teach you some self-defense techniques. I can't be everywhere with you. So by you knowing the skills, that'll empower you. Alright, so what kind of food were you thinking about? 